Hi, this is Kevin Lee. In this presentation, I will show you how you can configure J console for Java transformation. Uh, not only Java transformation, you can also configure it for uh, JMS source or target. So anything has to do with Java. So J console is a graphical provides a graphical user interface that is a monitoring tool for any Java process. Informatica, in Informatica like, you said, like I said, you can use it for Java transformation, JMS, um, and etc. So, JConsole uses the extensive uh, instrumentation of JVM to provide information about the performance and resource consumption of applications running on the Java platform. So to configure it, you have to use a remote monitoring option, which uh, JConsole provides these two options, JMX remote, JMS remote port. So um, that you can set in the intelligent service level so that you can monitor that any session that has uh, Java transformation. So. Um, so here's a intelligent service. If you go all the way bottom, then you will see custom properties. There you can set this JV options. So just say JV option one two three, and then you can uh, provide uh, information like this. So uh, JMS, JMS remote dot port. Make sure that you provide an available port that is not being used on the server machine. So. Um, just click on the node properties and then you will see minimum port and maximum port so just provide a port within the range because those ports are, should be open for the client machine right so um, usually power center starts from the lower end so whatever the main port it will just look for the we will check basically if this port is 6013 is available if it's, if it's not available, it will look for the next available port. Then it will be 6014 and etc. So uh, I would say um, just pick a port within the maximum uh, port, uh, close to the maximum port. So um, in my test case, I happen to choose X6110. So make sure that whatever the port that you choose is available. Okay, once that is set, um, then I will show you how you can view the J console tabs briefly. So, um, if you go to Power Center install directory 951 Java bin, then you will see J console.exe. Just run that on your local machine and just choose the option remote process. By the way, if you choose a uh, local process, let's say your Power Center server is running on Windows machine. Then you can just go to J console, or if you have um, X window for Unix machine, you can also use this graphical interface. Then you will see that the PID, the PMDTM process that has Java transformation, you will see that it's um, it's it is uh, it will be displayed here. But the option will be grayed out because those two options that I mentioned, uh, JMX remote and JMX port. Uh, not there so you will only see the, that it is there but it will be grayed out so you cannot uh, open the J console so you should use J uh, remote process option so just provide the host name colon uh, whatever the support that you specify so right now if I try to connect I won't be able to connect because uh, I don't have any session that has Java uh, component so um, so make sure that uh, when you test this one you have any uh, session that has Java transformation so in this example I just use a simple mapping that has a Java transformation uh, which doesn't do anything pretty much uh, it just has a script command so I, I should have enough time just to run the, this session Okay, so now um, let me just run this session. 
then you should be able to see that the uh, you know, monitor the session is running. Um, usually it takes about 10 seconds or so. So uh, just give enough time, just wait for 10 seconds, then you should be able to connect. Well, in this case, it takes a little bit more. Uh, let's see. But I should be able to connect. Oh, I think I provide the port incorrect A6110. Right, so sorry about that. So now I should be able to connect, and you should able to see. Um, um, uh, about the process. So overview displays overview information about the Java, JVM, and monitor monitor values. So it contains the CPU usage, memory usage, thread counts, and uh, classes load in the JVM. You know, all in a single view, and also you can save this one right by right clicking on the chart, and then there is an option save data as, and you can save in a CSV file format. Okay, so it contains overview of memory, uh, which shows um, heap memory and uh, memory pool and thread classes VM. So this is how you can. Uh, configure J console for power center session. Once the session is completed, then you will see that the session is completed. Then you will, um, and this J console monitor, you will see this option. If you cancel, then you can still view what, how the session um, with the Java transformation did. You can still monitor it. All right. Alright, that's about it for J console. So if you have any vacation, uh, feel free to contact us. Thank you.